Hey everyone, welcome to episode 248, Unconditional Love. Welcome to the Harmony in the Home podcast. I'm your host, Kelly Hutchison. I'm a counselor, a life coach, and most importantly, an imperfect mom doing this work right along with you. And my goal on our podcast is to go from chaos to calm, feel less frazzled and have more fun within your four walls to have more harmony in your home. So you know I love talking about love. I know Love Bomb has a bad connotation. It's like what narcissists do, but I love the positive version of Love Bomb. And before I talk about unconditional love, I want to talk to you about pocket coaching. Go to my website, go to coachingkelly.com and go to work with me and you can read all about how to sign up for pocket coaching where you and I on the go, I can be on your little shoulder and you can be on my shoulder. We can share stories, share struggles, share tips, share strengths, share weaknesses, and keep each other accountable to be conscious in all of our relationships, whatever relationship we want it to be. We can keep each other accountable. You can share stories of what's going on with you and what's going on with your kids or your spouse or your mom or your dad or your greedy greedy grandpappy. Then I can share examples of things that have worked in the past, either with my own kids or with students I've worked with as a counselor or as a teacher. And most importantly, I can normalize it for you as much as possible because I don't want you living in shame and blame and guilt because shame loves the darkness. And when I can bring light to your problems, it will make you feel so much lighter and so much fluffier about what you're dealing with and not so heavy. And we can share the cross together because everyone has a cross to bear. And if we can share that cross together, it feels a lot lighter for everybody. So I want to play this something that I saw on Instagram and three people sent it to me. So I was so touched that they thought of me when they saw this. And it's all, it's from lovealways.anj, Anjali, sorry, lovealways, Anjali, A-N-J-U-L-I. And it's all about a quick one-liner you can use with your kids. Let me play it right now. Okay, here's one phrase you can use as a mom that will absolutely change your life and the lives of your children. And I know this because this is a phrase my mom used with me. Here's an example. Over Christmas break, I was doing dishes with the fine china that we used for Christmas dinner. And this is china that we only use once a year. It's so special in my family. And as I was washing the dishes and stacking them, five of the 12 dishes shattered to the floor. It was devastating and my mom in a moment without hesitation screamed from the other room I love you more than those dishes see she's been saying this to me my whole life 5 10 15 16 25 35 40 she says I love you more than when I get got bad grades I love you more when I performed even did something really well I love you more than how well you performed I love you more than how poorly you treated your sibling and what she's doing in that moment is giving unconditional love we expect shame we expect a loud scold but instead she moved in with gentleness and love and it's made all the difference since and I think really truly what we really want more than anything is to know that we are unconditionally loved and so practice that phrase with your kids I love you more than I love you more than and I promise it will change you as a mom and it will change and impact the lives of your kids feel free to share this and save it with anyone who needs it isn't that so powerful I love you more than (gasps) so she gave so many good examples and you know what I love the most about the examples that she gave she gave examples of when to say it when something good happens in your child's life because they want to you they want to know that they are more than their grades that they're more than their accolades then they're more than the goals that they scare, scored they're more than the times that they get in trouble they're loved more than the dishes that they break they're loved more than the assignments that they miss and they get a zero on and just like we always talk about there is no dimmer switch on our love for our kids They have to know that day in and day out to have the confidence to go out into the world, whether they're five or they're 15 or they're 25, to be grown and flown and know that we will always be the safety net of unconditional love because from that space, they will feel so safe and so nurtured and home life will be like their safe haven for them because when they leave their four walls, there will be stress, there will be trials, there will be tribulations, but I want 
the four walls for my kids and for your kids to be almost like they're going to the spa, almost like they're just going to refresh and rejuvenate within the four walls versus going out into the world with their trials and tribulations and then coming back and have more trials and tribulations at home. Because I worked with so many students that would have a really, really, really rotten, awful morning and they'd be crying when they came in because they had a big fight with mom, the big fight with dad over the shoes or the jacket or the no jacket. And then they would get into school and it, they would get there like at 7.30, 8 o'clock. And it would take until 9, 9.30 for me to calm them down. Not that they were bawling their eyes out, but you could just see they were very rattled from their morning. And it took them a long time to become unrattled. So I want to give that gift to your kids. And I want to give that gift to my kids as well. Not that they belong to me. I don't even like to use the word my kids. But the kids that live in my four walls, I feel like I'm they're on loan to me from God. And I'm just babysitting God's children. So when I think about it that way, my ego can be staying outside of the four walls, even though it wants to knock on the door all the time and come on in. But my ego stays out. And my mom talked about this when she, I remember I was in seventh grade and she said, you know, I was like, why do you love me so much? And she's like, I just love you for you. And I'm like, I know, but like, is it because of soccer? And she's like, no. And she's, and I'm like, is it because of my grades, which were like, average. And she's like, no. I said, is it because of the way I treat my sisters, which wasn't great? She's like, no. And I said, is it because of my hair color? Is it because I'm the way I look? She's like, no. And I kept throwing all these things out. She's like, you don't understand. You could rob a bank and dad and I would still love you just the same. And I literally, that sounds so silly, but that was a life-changing comment that she said to me. She was explaining to me unconditional love, but I didn't get it. That That's what she was doing. I was like, oh, it would like, a, it was like a lightning bolt moment in my life. And she doesn't even remember saying it. She's like, oh, that's so silly I said that. I tell my kids that all the time. They're like, I know, Mom, we can rob a bank. You still love us. We know, we know. But what she was trying to teach me is that there's nothing you need to do or say or be for us to love you unconditionally. It's literally loving without conditions, without filters, without any expectations, without any strings attached, so to speak. Because I feel like the human spirit wants to do well at school. It wants to do well in sports. It wants to do well in extracurricular. It wants to have connections with their friends. So we don't, as parents, have to talk them into it. We have to let them know that the unconditional love is always there. We are the safety net for them to go and fly. And we will always be in the stands cheering for them, helping them up when they fall down. And when they know that we're a safe space... Not only will they come to us, but they will be nestled in our love. And that's the way that they can become the butterfly that we are trying to make them become to fly away and create a beautiful life to recreate the unconditional love that we're teaching them now and go and recreate that with their adult relationships of who they find, how they parent when they're older, the relationships they have, not only their romantic relationships, but their friendships that they are drawn towards. We want to set the example within the four walls, almost like a blueprint. So when they go and recreate those relationships, it you can see it like, oh, that's so representation of the four walls. They're going to go recreate it because we are writing on their unconscious right now. And it sounds overwhelming and daunting, but is it really? Because when we leave our ego at the door and we love them like we love our puppies, <laughs> We love unconditionally like our puppies love us. And if you want to know what unconditional feels like, go to your pet to learn about it or go to your child to learn about it because they love us unconditionally. They come out of the womb loving us unconditionally. Have you ever seen a toddler going looking for flowers for their parents? They will search for hours for that flower. They do it so naturally and so beautifully. And we were once that toddler. So we know how to do it. So once we know how to give it, they will know how to give it in return and go recreate it in their own life. And when they know there's no dimmer switch, life feels a lot lighter and a lot fluffier and everybody has much more harmony in the home. I love you guys and I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Hey mamas, thanks for listening. If you had any ahas, clicks, or those lightning bolt moments while listening, you have to check out my free parenting bootcamp where we take all of this to the next level And we try to create even more awakenings for ourselves so that we can connect more with our kids and never yell at them again. You can sign up at www.coachingkelly.com. And if you really want to fill up my love cup, 
send me an email of what your aha was, what your click was, what was that lightning bolt moment while you were listening. I want nothing more in life than for you to have harmony in your home and to learn how to be an imperfect mom like me, which allows your kids to be imperfect too, each and every day. Thanks for listening.